All right, guys, so today I'm going to be applying some aerate. Uh, it's supposed to rain, well, it could rain any moment, but it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so perfect timing. Now, uh, this is, this. Uh, it's not sponsored, but this was sent to me by uh, Pete, GCI Turf Academy. I'll link to his YouTube channel uh, and his website in the description. He says this really works, and I'm, I'm curious to see how it works and uh, compare it to what I've been using. I've been using homemade versions of this stuff, um, but supposedly this is way better, and I'll have to look into the, uh, the reasoning behind it. I know if you talk to, uh, if you go to the Grass Factor channel, um, Matt will talk your ears off about the details. I'll try to learn more about it and give a Grass Daddy version. Um, but seriously, if you want to know the super technical uh, chemical stuff going on, everything, Matt's a great guy to learn the really deep knowledge. Uh, I tend to share the basic concept, um, and I think the basic concept of Aerate is it pulls nutrients through the soil in a way that it creates these air pockets or air channels, and that's what chemical, or I don't know if it's chemically, but that's what aerates the soil. So. The instructions uh, Pete gave me is to put down six ounces per thousand square feet. So I'm gonna mix it up. Um, now, I don't know exactly what's in this. When I make it myself, I know what's in it and I, I just spray without any kind of protection. So just in case, just to, I mean, I'm doing these videos are getting more popular. So I'm trying to show proper techniques. So I got my gloves, my glasses and boots on. Um, but I think this is, it might not technically be organic, but this is one of the safest things you can uh, apply to your lawn. Because um, I'm pretty sure it says humic acid and solu soluble potash, which I don't think is any harmful stuff, but you still don't want to spray in your eyes, so I figure, whatever. Anyways, getting too technical on this. So six ounces per thousand square feet. Do, do, let's measure it out. I'm gonna use my chameleon, chameleon jar. Six ounces. Four, six, 12. All right, 24, we'll do the front. Let's go. I think you're supposed to mix this first. All right, so the way I always tank, tank mix everything, I add about half water, then pour in the product, and then fill up the rest. Uh, four gallons will do the front yard. I'm not sure how much the backyard, we rearranged it, so I'm gonna spray that first, see how much water is used, mix up appropriately what I need to finish the, the front. So we'll see how this goes. All right, to the backyard. Make sure you guys leave comments on how nice the backyard's starting to look. My wife's almost ready to plant her flowers and she's gotten everything cleaned up really nice. So she's trying to make sure the videos look good too. All right, you can see how green the grass is already starting to look. It's pretty amazing. Over here, we got a lot of clover. This is gonna be flowers, 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 flowers. Strawberry beds, more flowers, more flowers. Kids area, more flowers, more flowers. So I use about two gallons, so the backyard is probably about two to two and a half thousand square feet now. Uh, she's taken over quite a bit of it with the garden, but I'm okay with that. We're doing the English, English garden look. It's gonna look awesome. So I need to get 12 more ounces of that black stuff in there. It's 
it's gonna rain any minute now. Awesome timing. All right, there you go. Thanks, Pete. I look forward to seeing uh, the effect this has on the roots. Uh, later in the year, I'm gonna dig up some roots and just see how deep they go. All right, bye. All right, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. It's what makes this uh, really enjoyable and fun making all these videos. And uh, be sure to check out the ones below. Have a great day. Bye.